Ah, uh, Lucifer. Yeah, it. Back to this again. Episode thirteen of season three. Till death do us part. We're more than halfway through now, Quinn. Hell yeah. We're more than halfway through season three. This is which, the longest season. <laughs> it's a pretty long one. There's no doubt about that. But we're there, or we're getting there. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going to happen. I'm starting to get supernatural vibes. And what I mean by that is like the Too what could possibly happen now? Like what's net? How is there more? Like, <laughs> well, keep in mind, we're cap. We're we're nowhere near the cap of like the overall lore yeah. of like the heaven because I guess we haven't seen work God. Anymore. We haven't seen any more of the angels. You know, we've seen. I Uriel literally and forgot that Amenadiel. God was considered a character. Like, that's how long it's been since we've heard anything about that. Well, it's because they're focusing purely on the you know the relationships that lucifer is going through on earth you know chloe Maze, amenadiel also we're seeing the birth of amenadiel and uh the doc and uh, the doctor you know them going through their uh uh you know their cycle of a relationship and of course Maze getting jealous about that and which Maze let it be she'll have to get over it <laughs> One can hope. They just need to talk to her. I don't know what they're fucking. Isn't Linda a fucking therapist? She like, is a therapist. She should know but she's that also they just need to communicate. She, she, they should know that they just need to communicate. But she's also afraid of Maze. Oh, because she shouldn't be. Maze is a fucking demon. Not to her. I, I mean, know that, but Maze at any point can pull out one of those blades and just literally just, just cut Linda up into into little pieces. She wouldn't. I know she wouldn't, but at the same time, it's just. It, the thought is in Linda's head. Hey, you could do that to me right now if you want. I'm pretty sure you have like three knives over there. Like it happens. I got a I got a paint scraper. That's, that's there really was hard. definitely a reaction where you casually reached over and picked up a knife and I started d- scratching your back with it. Yeah, and I, know, I was I like, I did that as a, I did that as a, <laughs> I did that as a bit of a joke. But I had the I had the paint scraper right here. I could have done the same thing, you know, like see no issue. <laughs> But where the knife was over here, I thought it would be even funnier to be like, oh, hey, knife. Yeah, there we go. Like a pure Neanderthal scratching my back with a knife. Let's get into this. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and let's go. Let's go. Hello, Lucifer. Oh, Jesus. If it were that easy to kill me, I'd have been dead a long time ago. Same. I've tried everything. Even jumped into a volcano once. What, you survived molten lava? Yeah, it was a rough six months. It's just whatever I do, I just regrow. <sighs> like a blue-eyed, square-jawed tapeworm. So if I cut you exactly <laughs> in half, would there be two pierces? No. Well, you are the devil. You must have something shockingly evil up your sleeve. Hmm. You mean, uh, something like this? <laughs> Ouch! Thanks. You're most welcome. Because that little bad boy was forged in the bowels of hell. What? I I don't understand. How does this not work? I should have known that you wouldn't be able to figure this out. Well, I mean, the good news is we've got all the time in the world to do so. For me, that's a bad thing. (laughs) You really had to throw it in his back? (laughs) Couldn't have just stabbed him in the the chest or in the head. That was kind of (laughs) rude. You know. It, it, I mean, honestly, it, it's mm. <laughs> so many different things that could have been done. I'm, di- I, I'm not gonna say I'm disappointed. It's just, come on, Lucifer. Oh, we're not. Wood chipper, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wood chipper beats everything. Uh, you know, I have a, I have a very strong opinion about, uh, you know, proven pedophiles. Okay. Head head first into the wood chipper. That's not that strong of an opinion. According to some people, uh-huh. it is. According to some people. Why is my couch in the middle of my office? Oh, good. You're here. Please, take a seat. How are you feeling today? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, answering a question with another question. That's called evasion. Oh, and your body language suggests you're quite upset. Don't worry. This is a safe place. <laughs> Why are you doing this? 
how am I supposed to solve the mystery of how to kill you if I don't understand you first? Your strengths, your weaknesses, because everyone has a kryptonite, Lieutenant. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a funny reference right there because he Decent. played Superman for so fucking long on Smallville. Oh. Again, again, they don't, they didn't have to do that, but the fact that they did makes me laugh. Amazing. So in other words, you still have no idea how to kill me. What? This is the idea. I'm not a crier. I'm not a sharer. So unless you have something that's case related, we're done talking. Wait, so Sander wasn't dealing for the gang. She was cooking for them. I wonder if K-pop is still on the market. Oh, well, it was as of last Tuesday. Oh, it's wonderful stuff. Yeah, it makes your skin feel like a baby chinchilla. Okay, one ecstasy dealer coming right up. You two can meet me at Lux in an hour. Sure. Right, Daniel, you can stay. Uh -huh. oh. Why? Just like, okay, whatever. Aren't you clowns at anything challenging? What is that? Did you smell that? Axe body spray. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I appreciate you for shooting your shot, but nah, nah, bro, it ain't working. It ain't happening. Oh, hello. Do I know you? Yeah, but now something's different. It's wonderful. And Lord knows I could use a distraction. Maze. No. I have been trying to make Maze. changes. Maze. You know, oh, oh. and all. Maze is on the prowl. I'm glad it's she wants starting some to of that. Come through. Very oh, something's coming tall, through very. <laughs> you smell incredible. <laughs> what um, exactly did you say our relationship was? Shh. Don't talk. Wow. <laughs> That is not the plot twist I wanted. Maze is thirsty. God. Maze wants a tall drink of water and she, here she is. Damn. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, honestly, she has every right to feel intimidated because Maze is an intimidating figure. Yeah. Especially when she's that, like, sexually aggressive. Oh my God. I don't think anyone would be able to resist that. Mm. I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't be able to. <laughs> of course, Maze would never in a million years be caught, you know, anywhere near someone like me. <laughs> Unless I've done something terrible. Scratch that. Maybe she would. I don't know. <laughs> it's a ruthless drug lord with who knows how many armed thugs. You can't just walk in there with your three-piece suit and say, Hello, drug dealers! I would never do that. Uh, I'm young, Mike son. Come out, come out. Well, he you didn't. Are. <laughs> he, well, he didn't in English, but he did in uh, in Korean. Wow! It, wait, is this? Ow. Okay, I love the camera work, the uh, the overhead. This looks really cool. Yeah. Ow! More than a feeling. You were singing more than a feeling. It's awesome. Oh. I'll say this about Lucifer. He's an equal opportunity ass whipper. Oh. You kneecapped him. <laughs> so I'm a giver, damn it! And now you are gonna help me. <laughs> what is it? Mr. Hall, thank you for coming in. So, uh, oh, we are a criminal organization specializing in extortion and drug dealing. Wow. And yes, Sandra Jane used to cook our ecstasy. Oh. 
Okay. You do understand that even if you weren't involved in Sandra's death, you have confessed to several felonies, and we will be arresting you. Whatever it takes to bring Sandra's killer to justice. Right. My guess is Lucifer worked out a favor with him. Yeah. With a few years in prison, it's just a small price to pay for doubling your profits with a superior product. That's it. You can't just hand out random illicit uh, drug recipes. Not random, detective. The best. Uh, I mean, you don't want inferior ecstasy out there on the streets, ruining orgies and dubstep parties now, don't you? It's ecstasy. My Bro, even if you make the best ecstasy known to man, it, it's still going to have an adverse effect on the human brain. It, it always does. I, mean, I don't do it because uh, I already want to kill myself without getting and, and that's, depression and that's the afterwards. Thing. And that's the thing. It causes <laughs> your brain chemistry to go off wh out of whack. And it literally like makes you suicidal. Yeah, I don't do after, it. After I don't you need do that. <laughs> which is which is why great music, like, like honestly, that's why Avicii, you know, what you, you, you remember Avicii, right? The electronic uh, music artist. I don't. Um... He was like, he had a, like a lot of really big hits. And at, I forget how old he was really young. He was in his twenties. Uh, he just upped and, you know, ended himself because he popped too much ecstasy. I mean, the you know sometimes the brightest burning candles burn out way too early, and he was one that definitely did, and it was because he did ecstasy too much. It caused depression, and you know you know how that goes. I mean, what does this do anyway? Stop shaking it. You're gonna shake it. <sighs> you're right, detective. It does help to know what you're looking for. Oh. Well, those client lists. Ooh. One angry one, maybe. An X. Another thing of X. Now what you're doing, end it or you're dead. Well, actually, it's not ecstasy. It's more sort of a homebrew Adderall. It's very smooth. Did you partly <laughs> just admit this morning evidence? Come yeah, on, thing Blue. I admit to is being very focused on this case. All right, get close to the neighbors. See who you can smoke out. Right. I, I had the exact same idea. And there is a house for rent on Sandra's block. However, the owner will only rent to couples. We just want to be the first to say hi to the uh, new couple on the block. I'm Brian. This is my wife, Anya. Hey. Thank you. That is so thoughtful. <laughs> Honey, we have guests. Ah. Oh. Right, <laughs> Brian, Anya. This is Mark. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. 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 They didn't really have to do the tie around, did they? <laughs> like, it was Aska. Yeah, I couldn't remember oh. if that was what it was called or not. Uh, the, or the polo or polo sweater, polo sweater tie around. The Ascot's the little uh, handkerchief, the little neckerchief thing. That. Oh God. Oh, keep God. going, just keep going, Nate. I can already hear the fan. I, I I know this is years ago, but I can hear the fan fictions being written. You realize this is just for the case. This is my chance to really get to know you, Pierce. I'm taking it oh seriously, God. and so should you. Just don't give me your resting Pierce face. What face? That. So, <laughs> how did you two lovebirds meet? We were high school sweethearts, yeah. actually. Oh. We were biology partners. <laughs> well, um, actually, we met through my dad. Oh, how sweet. Well, not really. My dad's a right bastard. Oh, oh uh, right, yes. <laughs> Tough, right? My parents don't approve. It's true. True. And my father would definitely disapprove of this. Isn't that right, Marky Mark? Well, let's not start with that. With these nice people, Luke. <laughs> Trying to assert Sorry, dominance. Mark loathes talking about himself. Shall I? Feel free to ask him, I mean, us anything you want. Okay. <laughs> Shall we? Yes. yes. Right. Drink all the wine. That's me. <laughs> It's you guzzling down the whole bottle. No, I said you'd be like with a bottle, like you know, blood, 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 I just drink right out of the bottle. There's no sense of wasting a glass. What's I'm gonna finish it. Yeah, so. it's like <laughs> it's like uh, less dishes, right? Another. <laughs> I would start a graveyard in my house, but I'm afraid I just throw them away. Well, it's really reserved for like. Actually, you know, my mom had a wine bottle graveyard. She actually had one. It was a little uh, thing you could hang them from. Oh, I don't just drink wine. Ceiling. It was like a chandelier, a wine bottle chandelier. It was beautiful. <laughs> you, should, you should have one of those like that. <laughs> if you had the room for it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I need a house. That's sweet. 
Hello. Hey, sexy. What's up, Dan? Uh, <laughs> you two know each other. Oh, yeah. We uh, killed a guy together once. <laughs> Allegedly. Maze. No. Uh... Trying to weasel your way into a threesome there, Maze? The three of us. <sighs> I'm sorry. No, of course not. Yeah. Dan. But if you wanted to. Dan! Uh, now, whatever no. can be empowering because I've actually been just feeling this social. Well, I'm into it. Okay. Mm. If she is. <sighs> <laughs> Nate, keep going. I know. Check, please. Check. Okay. Oh, come on, get the check. Yeah, it's horrible, huge loss. We're, we're kind of one big family around here. Well, uh, most of us anyway. Some of the neighbors can be a little tight. Uh, there you go. On, babe. Guys don't want to hear about that, right? We're here to welcome them. Hear about what? The oh, neighborhood watchdog. Someone has been writing notes and terrorizing the block. Bring on the gossip, Turn your hedges yes. Or else, stop using non organic weed killer or I'll make you drink oh. it. It's like Martha Stewart and the Terminator. Had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea who the this Stuart Nader? Is? Oh, actually. Well, I suppose we all have our mistress, Ooh. don't we? This has been nice, uh, but remember, we have to get up early for that thing tomorrow morning. Oh. Uh, no idea what you're talking about, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they can't. They can't agree on anything. What? A I just. I, I just told you my deepest secret. Yeah. Sorry, I thought it was you I was attracted to, but turns out it's just my old life. No, and I'm not sure if I want to go back there. Uh. Hey, but Dan's probably still into it, though. Thanks so much for the There we Okay, so. Maze is. Maybe that infatuation's gone now. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I hope, anyway, because that. She it's was making things Sandra incredibly awkward promising. between her and Dan. Those notes sound just like the one we found in Sandra's stash. No one's a worse neighbor than the devil. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow! Wait. Wow. This when? is exactly why I want to buy a house. <laughs> we, we talked about this earlier. Yes, I was like, I would love, I'm gonna, I was like, Nate, can I pay you to rent out your house for my birthday party? Because I have an apartment. This is why, here's the thing. I have this big basement space where we all can come down here, play music as loud as we want, and there won't be any problems. Our neighbors won't give two craps because there's, far, there's enough distance. There's enough distance and plus down here. I've got it soundproof yeah. enough to where it won't matter. But, oh my God, this right here is excessive. And I love it. I want my birthday party to be excessive. We can arrange it. Yes. To a degree. We are not burning the house down. Okay. Okay. Well, it is in February, so we might need a fire. I'm kidding. We have heat. <laughs> we could actually potentially do a bonfire. Uh, I think it would be too cold for that in February. Fair, fair. Oh Guys, damn it. Uh oh. What are you talking about? LAPD, don't move. Oh, hello. Have you come for your casserole dish? Hands up. Hi. Oh. Oh. It's not illegal. I think you're. So you're saying you didn't write that threatening note? No, that's not even my handwriting. Look, look at it, it's so sloppy. Of course, what do you expect from someone clueless enough to put a whole body into a wood chipper? I, I mean, saw before you mulch, everyone knows but, 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 that. Uh, mm. Don't incriminate uh, yourself any further than any. No, he would know not to put onion skins down the garbage disposal. You lovebirds ready to go back to suburbia? Uh, 
<laughs> Till death do us part, darling. Roll credits. I've simply piqued their curiosity. <clears throat> <laughs> I love it. Uh, we would we'd like everyone to sign, please. Makes it more personal. Why do I feel like I'm the only one putting any effort into anything? Probably because you're making everything about you. <laughs> Me? Oh, God. Oh, my God. She's forgotten. I am doing this. This is this. Uh... Really. Yes, really. And if you're not committed, then there's no point to us. And being. here we go. The, the crowd gathers up. Is because I have to be. Oh. Everything else is just an empty promise. You have no idea what you're doing. I beg your pardon. You say you're a man of your word. You're not. Oh. Careful, careful. <sighs> Causing a scene. Oh, they just said that. Excuse me. <sighs> you moved the Natch house. <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't want anyone to spill salsa into, into the, the macaroni. macaroni. Wow. Why is this so cute? I wasn't sure you were coming. Don't know. <laughs> I made you a promise. And I am a man of my word, no matter what you may think. Uh, I may have overreacted. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm not ready to give up on that. Oh God! Here we go! Here we go! Pay off! <laughs> oh my God! Lucifer didn't even hesitate. He went in. Oh God! <laughs> I think it's time for us to go, dear. But we just got She's the one. Yeah, no, but we really need to. Everybody, get back! Whoa. Get back. All right? Yeah, get back. Ryan. Ryan. We're leaving. <laughs> Thanks. It's great. <laughs> little one last little. What about hedge trimmers? Tried it didn't work. Put it down, Brian. Uh, I just didn't want you to leave me. But he wasn't having an affair. June was his drug dealer. <laughs> it's true. I was buying pills from her to help me lose weight. For you, so that I could go back to being the guy that you fell in love with in high school. <laughs> I didn't Ouch. want you to leave me. I'm so sorry I doubted you. I just... I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. okay. It's too bad, though. She's still a murderer. Oh, there's some cold comfort in them being arrested together. You want to die. Because you don't want to be alone anymore. Yeah, well, duh. What's your point? If we're going to kill you, then we have got to do it together. Is that right? <clears throat> you see, I don't think you've been spending time with me trying to figure out how to kill me. I think you want to spend time with someone who's been screwed by your dad as much as you've been. <sighs> you are the one that doesn't want to be alone. Maybe. I suppose one might call us friends now. And it is nice to have a friend who can relate. I get you. No, you don't. I mean, you've been on the Earth, what, five years? You'll see. It's hard not to get attached. Okay. Okay, so we both have some issues that we need to work through. But if we're gonna get revenge on Dad, we've got to be committed. I've already married you. I'm not sure how much more committed I could be. <laughs> True. True, but there are so many things that we never got to try. <clears throat> Fine. Go get the chainsaw. <sighs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> Get to drink and it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. Jesus. That one was fun. That one was fun. Although I'm disappointed in one thing. Uh huh. No Ella. There was no Ella. I'm sad about that. But at the same time, there was still enough here. I think that that was. I think that was a, a good episode. 
uh, the Pierce and Lucifer uh, uh, marriage was... It's something. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Uh, especially, you know, very public, you know, fights and all that between, you know, between... Co- I, I've witnessed that. And sometimes it does go that way because I don't know what it is, but people are attracted to that. Like I've seen like parties, like the atmosphere was good, and then all of a sudden something goes wrong, and then all of a sudden just two people start butting heads. Can't relate. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> and it, it, <laughs> it anyway, all all in all though. At the end of it, you know, it's just like, well, shit. I guess it, it, people, like, people are attracted to it, but at the same time, sometimes it can kill, it can kill the party. I'm not going to say what happened, you know, what happened. I don't think it did. No, it didn't kill the party. It, it I do said, stand by what I said about it, though. <laughs> Sober me agrees with drunk me on that situation. You're, you're allowed to think whatever you want, but at the same time, it's just like, eh. You also have to know that I wasn't, like, serious. Like, I, I, I would not have actually, <laughs> but... I know, I know, but at the same time, it's just like, I I didn't know that. <laughs> it's part of who I am. I'm all talk. <clears throat> uh, well, that's not you're, that's not always true, well, so you're actually talk. you might have been right that you couldn't know. You just have to know my vibe. <laughs> well, yeah, it, well, you're all Quinn all If I wanted time. to do it, I wouldn't have told you I was going to. I would have just done it. Fair, fair. <laughs> And then I would have been. Uh, also, we are fight. not talking about anything like. Uh, I feel like this could be taken the wrong way. We are not talking about anything like uh, sexual. No, 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 no. <laughs> no yeah. This was like a. a this was this like, was a, a disagreement. <laughs> this was a potential conflict, and but I I was got resolved. I was telling Nate I was going to fight somebody. I was not going to fight them. It was not that serious. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. That's just how I, I'm just, I just, I think it's funny to say things like that. And sometimes people don't pick up that I'm kidding. No, um, and that's just, <laughs> I don't know. But <clears throat> yeah, this was, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it, you see, I, I've been, I've been in relationships like that. Never had a public breakup like that. I had someone break up with me when we were at like a, when we were at dinner I've and never fought with someone that I've been dating. Not like not like that. Well, I think I well, I don't know. I've disagreed <clears throat> and like went back and forth, but I'm not we've never even like I've never even like yelled at somebody. You never had a public spat with somebody. No, I don't I haven't even really had a spat with somebody. Like I'm pretty <laughs> I know the most recent example is that I was like, I'm going to fight them. But yeah. like legitimately, I'm just that one. It's like, okay, when you cool down, we'll talk about it. I'm not doing this with you. That, well, that's normally how I am. about well, it. And, and you see, that's, that's okay. Uh, I would say the one that I had that was, it, it wasn't a, it wasn't a relationship. It was a fam. It was a family thing where we were yelling at each other because, you know, we both were, ups- I was upset with, I was upset with them over how they were handling a situation. And then they got mad at me because they said it was none of my business. And I'm just like, you're the one who yelled at me first over it. And you made it my business. And they're like, yeah. well, I'm telling you it's not your business now. And I'm like, who the hell are you to determine that? And then eventually it just evolved into <laughs> basically us like having to be split apart by certain family members. And then eventually like people came to me and said, you should apologize. And I'm like, well, fuck you too. And then I left. And then eventually, like, eventually, like, I had other family members reach out and say, look, I wasn't aware of, like, the situation that was going on, but now that I know, I'm sorry, Nate, I shouldn't have said that you should apologize. I just, I just thought, you know, someone should be the bigger person. And I'm just like, yeah, you're right. I should have, I should have, you know, been the bigger person about it. It's just, that person always gets under my skin with how they treat other people. And, yeah. I wasn't going to hit them. <laughs> Drunk me would have been like, well, I'm sorry that you feel like I need to apologize to you. <laughs> that's just... <laughs> wow. That's a full... That's a full Rick Sanchez move right there from Rick and that Morty. Is, um, that is a full that Rick That is move. not, like, the appropriate way to handle a situation. No, but it's I not. have 
But I could absolutely see me doing that if I was 100% confident I was right and someone was pressing it. Like, yeah. <laughs> that is, <laughs> you can take that one for free. God. You can use that next time, Nate. <laughs> well, we're going to end it here, everyone. This was uh, Lucifer Season 3, Episode 13, Till Death Do Us Part. Good episode. Funny episode. Um, and uh, we're now into the second half of this season, and I'm wondering what Thank the hell's going to happen. So anyway, we're going to move on from here. Thank you all very much for tuning in. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Quinn. We'll see you then. Peace out.